Hey guys, it's a cold night out, but it's warm and toasty in here. I've got a bit of a amateur or DIY electronics repair for you tonight. So this is my bench top power supply. I use for small electrical projects and charging batteries and things like that. It stopped working on me. So anyways, now, and we try and set the voltage, no matter what I do, it always reads zero or really close to zero. See there, it'll go up a little bit and that, that's maxed out now. I can't get anything more out of it than that. Nothing. Even if I hook up another load, like a light or something, nothing. And so I was playing around with it for about a minute like that. And then if you can see these leads got kind of hot. <laughs> So I say, let's open this thing up and see if we can't fix it. So I've looked over the insides and I don't see anything obvious. All those caps look okay. I don't see any obvious components that are burned or shorted out. I don't see anything with the board. I don't see any wires that are that would have been pinched or uh, shorted out somehow. We're grounding. Okay, so I've done a little more looking around and I've done some probing with the multimeter. And I'll, I'll explain what my approach to, to solving the real problem is gonna be. So anyways, I've got my meter set to continuity. And first thing I realized is if we check from uh, positive, positive to negative on the front panel, the circuit's closed, and that, that can't be right. And see, when you shine it through, you can actually see all the circuitry. And I was able to trace the wires back and find that the positive and negative are these two terminals, or these two solder joints, on the board right here. My next thought is, since I know there's a short somewhere, if I undo these two wires, or maybe just one of them, then that should tell me whether the short is on this main board side, or if it's something on the transformer to front panel side. So that's gonna be my first step anyways. So I want to grab the negative wire. And then we'll try and desolder it. Oh, there we go. There, got it. So now you can see that black wire is loose. Okay, so when I probe on the board now, where the positive and negative were connected, it's open. And when I probe on the front panel, it's still shorted. So I think my theory worked, and that tells me the short is not on the main board, but it's up here somewhere. So, this yellow wire is the positive, and the white wire is the negative. And if I check them up here, still shorted. 
So I guess I'm going to have to go ahead and remove this smaller circuit board that's right on the front outputs and take a look at it. So upon removing this small circuit board the, and inspecting the front of it, it, there's no components on it. So that didn't really tell me anything. But I think I've actually found the culprit. Hopefully this will show up on video. But if we look at this component right here, there's a crack running down the face of it. So I don't think that's right. So I'm hoping it's this component that's failed. I think that might be a diode. And there we go. All right, so it's the next day. And out of a kit of components I had, I found the same little diode. So let's see about soldering it onto that circuit board. So this one solder joint didn't turn out too good. I guess the contact was a little bit dirty or something on the board, but it checks out for continuity. So my connections are good. So let's see if it's going to work now. Okay, I've put it back together, aside from actually uh, putting the case back on it, just leave it off for testing. Let's see what happens. Ah, oh, there we go. So the voltage is working now. Perfect. So, yeah, if we crank the current up. There we go, and we get a full 30 volts. And verifying with the multimeter. Seems to be working just fine. So there you go, my method of breaking the circuits down into smaller and smaller groups of components until you can diagnose them and figure out which component is the faulty one. Works for me. I'm happy. Saved myself a cost of buying another power supply. Not too many resources online for fixing these. Everyone just says, get a new one. I don't like doing that though. I'd rather fix it if it's something simple. So as always, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you then.